Alright guys, what's up? Cody back here today, and I'm kind of bringing you a little review, fresher video of, um, kind of my experiences I had a couple nights ago. I went to a Sum 41 concert, uh, the 19th of uh, October, not August, my god, of October, San Andrews Hall in Detroit, Michigan, and I did have the VIP Introduction to Destruction, I believe, experience, the lowest one you could buy, because I'm a broke fuck, and, um... I got to see some 41 census fail and as it is and it was a pretty fun time so basically this video is highlighting what my experience was like and kind of giving a refresher to anybody that has yet to buy a ticket yet whether it's worth it or whether you want to upgrade to a VIP or if you you know haven't bought a general admission ticket and you still have an option to do that but just haven't and um I've never seen a video like this out there before on uh, the interwebs. I kind of looked for it because I didn't know what I was going to be getting into when I did. But uh, nonetheless, I will try to be as informative as I can and stay around because I do have more details on my 13 Voices Deluxe album giveaway. But I'm going to be doing that and a few more other channel updates at the end of the video. So if you want to see that, you can skip to that or you can wait it out for the rest of the video. I'm not going to advertise on the beginning of a video that's kind of pointless but um yeah without further ado let's get into it so um i live about an hour away from detroit on the west side of uh michigan i live about an hour away so um it was kind of a long drive for me i would say i had to get going early because detroit has some very bad traffic um Especially around that time, uh, I've gotten an email from uh, Sid or CID Entertainment. Uh, I'm just going to call them Sid Entertainment from here on out. I believe that's how you say it. Um, got an email from them a few weeks before the show, giving me details of meeting times, where to meet, you know, all this for the VIP experience. I would get a lanyard. Um, I believe it says every VIP, no matter what you get, you at least get a poster, a laminate, a vinyl, a lanyard, and early access into the venue. Uh, plus meet and greet and photo opportunities with the band. So that's why I jumped on it. It was pretty cheap. At first it was like, I don't know, 139 I think, but they discounted it down to like 109 So they gave a refund back for that to me, which was pretty sweet. And um, nonetheless, uh, get there at the venue. They say yeah, the meeting, you know, the concert starts at, I think, 7 o'clock roughly because the doors to the public opened at 6.30, so... We got there a couple hours earlier for the uh, meet and greets, as it was told, and, um, yeah, it was kind of rough. Uh, this is really my only negative part about the entire experience is, uh, once we got there, we got, you know, we got in line. There was people, of course, waiting, and, um, they were pretty good with handing out, you know, the VIP laminates. You got a little laminate on a lanyard. I'll show it later on in the video of what you actually get. Um, you get this little laminate, and they check off your name, they check your ID, all that stuff, make sure you're actually a valid person, and you pretty much wait for the, you know, whole meet and greet experience. So, we had to meet around, or the experience said we were going to go meet them at around 4.15, a couple hours before the uh, show, and then we'd have to split from the venue for a couple hours. You can't just hang around. So, it was getting later, it was like 5 o'clock, and... Right across the street was their tour bus, some 41's tour bus, and uh, we saw, you know, uh, Dave Brown sound actually came out of the bus around the time we were supposed to meet. He went inside the venue, and he was in there for a while, and then, uh, like an hour and a half later, the rest of the band came out. You know, Cone uh, and Frank came out, and then Tommy came out, and last but not least, Derek came out. But they are you know, really nice to the people standing there. They were waving, saying hi, all that stuff, so... There could have been a little bit of delay, not a problem, really. I mean, you know, as long as we get our stuff and get our experience that we paid for, that's all I really care about. And um, a couple hours went by. Uh, there was a person in front of me that had his guitar with him. He had a Derek Wibley signature guitar, and I believe he was there for the 15-minute uh, jam session and uh, the hang with the band because eventually he split out around, like, 5 o'clock, and... Uh, 45 minutes for him to be gone and uh, sound check and finally uh, they were all done so it was about six o'clock roughly um, and keep in mind the doors did open at 6:30 to the general public so it was about um, 
It's about uh, six o'clock by time uh, they said it's time for the meet and greet and photo opportunity. So uh, I was really nervous and excited for this part, really, because of uh, I had wanted to get Derek Wibley's signature on my arm. I wanted to get a tattoo of the 41 and his signature above it because the last album mean a lot to me. The band, you know, mean a lot for me in my you know individual guitar playing and let alone growing up. Uh, I was into the band a lot and. You know, with him coming out of his recent struggles, I thought it'd be pretty sweet to get the 41 plus uh, his signature. So I didn't know, you know, whether they signed stuff or not, or how it would go. And uh, that's why I was kind of, I was kind of uh, searching the internet for this stuff because it's like, do they do they sign stuff or do they just, you know, make you go up there and take a picture? And the line was moving really quick, so I kind of figured it's it's a really quick thing. They told us to have our phones out and ready. They searched us. They did all their security checks on us, and um, we ended up going inside the hall a little bit. And right at the entrance, the entire band was in front of like this backdrop, um, some 41 backdrop. They told us to have our phones ready to take a picture, and I ended up going up there, uh, gave the dude my phone, and talked to the band, said what's up, how's it going. They're really really nice guys. Um, the, the whole, uh, sit entertainment staff was kind of like, come on now, hurry up. And, uh, you could tell they just wanted to get people through. And I was kind of nervous going up because, you know, one, I was meeting this band. Two, I had to get a signature from Derek. And I went up with him with a pen in my hand and I told him, I was like, hey dude, can you sign my arm? And he was looking at me like, you know, what are, what are you doing? And I, I, I explained to him and he's like, Oh yeah, I'd, that'd be a privilege to do that. And he, you know, he had these skeleton gloves on. He took one off and got behind my uh, left uh, arm and signed right where I wanted to be. And uh, Dave uh, said it was really badass and it was really fucking rad. And I, that was pretty sweet. And then they put their gloves on. I shook Derek's hand and uh, got a picture and thanked all the guys. And they were really, really kind to me. And it was it was pretty cool. And uh, I, I got my phone back, they handed me a vinyl and a poster, so they give you this poster. It looks like this, um, might be a little hard to see in the shot, but it does say the tour name right down here, if you see, like, red writing. Let's see if I can, there you go. They say, you know, the Don't Call It A Sunback Tour, it's a, uh, it's a pretty cool poster, you can hang that up somewhere, and then they give you, um, they gave a vinyl of their new album. It's not the deluxe version, but hey, nonetheless, it's a free, it's a free record, so can't complain. So they give you that, and we left. We went back to our car, put all our merchandise inside it, and waited for about a half hour. Came back to line. There was about 20 people in front of us. Uh, we had the VIP, so we got early access into it. So we, they had a priority line for us. Um, as soon as they were done with the meet and greets and done with everything, we got inside. No sweat. Uh, out of the 20 people that went in, about 9 or 10 went to the merch table. Another 5 or 6 went right to the bar. And uh, my buddy and I had went with a friend who had been going to all my favorite concerts with recently. And um, we uh, went straight up to the gate and we were right on front row. And um, it went on for like another half hour, 45 minutes of a wait, and then as it is came out, they played about a 30 minute set. I'd never heard of them before, they're a pretty good band, been checking them out more lately, I advise you do the same. They're kind of a, um, I don't want to say, they, like, when they came out, I'm like, is this a boy band or what? But they, they had some pretty cool pop punk elements about them, and they're a pretty good band, so I would check them out. They're smaller, but they're from England, so... It's pretty good. They have their second album is about to come out, so that's pretty good if you're like that and you're touring with a band that big, like some where Census Fail. And then Census Fail came out after that. They played about a 45 minute to an hour gig. Gave the kid next to me a um, a set list, and uh, they ended up throwing a uh, throwing some water bottles out. And since my buddy and I got up straight to the front, we didn't have anything to drink, so I just opened one of that water bottle and just. My buddy and I just drank that up because it was hot. It was a small place, small venue, and it was pretty beefing. And but all around that kid next to me that got the set list was a pretty cool dude. It was a pretty cool dude. So he deserved that nonetheless, and I'm glad he got it. So um, they tore down after that and quickly summoned it up coming on. It just got 
packed up in the front. We were getting pushed against the barricade. My buddy and I had seen some earlier this year on warp, so we kind of knew what to expect. We knew it was going to be a rough one. We were already tired. I pulled an all-nighter the night before. I was stupid, so here I am just beat, and uh, it got pretty rough. It was pretty fun, though. Though sometimes, uh, you know, Dave was literally five feet in front of me. Um, I will... Sorry, this... This side, this side, I'll put a I'll put a video up here of how close we were. It's not going to have sound to it or anything, but we were pretty damn close. We were right in front of Dave's mic, and it was pretty sweet. Um, they played a 24-song set list. Uh, you can find that anywhere on the internet. It's pretty common, you know, the Hell songs, Fat Lib, In Too Deep. They played most of the songs off their new album, which were really good. Um, I didn't think they'd play 13 Voices, but I was pretty. that was a pretty good song to play live. I, I agree to that choice and played a 24 song set list they covered a few they did uh we will rock you and then Derek came out by himself played some like uh what do you play i know he played uh shit what's that song seven nation something by the white stripes it's like i don't know why i'm not thinking of it right now um it's like the easiest most common riff like that's out there it's seven nation army or something like that i don't know why i'm thinking of that i can't think of the name i even know how to play it but um he was playing that, he was playing, uh, fuck, it's, it's blowing my mind, like, some of the biggest riffs in rock history he was playing, some of the biggest but easiest, and people were singing along to it, it was really, it was really sweet, and, uh, We Will Rocky was pretty cool, it had, like, a punk, uh, tempo and driven, they soloed in it, um, they played even some Slayer, I, I'd never seen that before, like, when, uh, Derek's introducing Dave to the crowd and saying he could play any kind of, kite kind of metal, I was switching up type and kind, he could play any kind of metal, and I'd never seen him actually start playing Slayer before, but they started playing Raining Blood, it was pretty cool, and um, they went on for a while, they did In Too Deep, they broke, and then came back, did Pieces, 13 Voices, and Fat Lip, of course, is the uh, last song on the encore, and um, it was pretty loud, you know, I have... I'm probably going to be destined to have some shitty hearing as an adult, and, uh, yeah, and, um, but it was, it was pretty loud, uh, we had these hydraulic, um, smoke shooters, steam shooters, I guess, in front of us, and then the confetti shooters and all that stuff, so, we, my buddy and I couldn't even hear on the way home, but, nonetheless, it was, it was pretty sweet, we had already seen them live, so, it was really cool, and knowing that we got the early access and knew we can get right up there, it, led to some pretty cool things so um and mr brownson even came down and gave me his pick which was really fucking bad to have, so i'm not gonna lie um that was one of my goals for the night i've never caught a pick never caught a drumstick and for him to just come down and give me one i i kind of thought during the concert you know he was really he was really you know intense with the fan the audience to himself connection like there was one time i was just singing my heart out and he looked at me and he was smiling and I like pointed at him and he started laughing and sang along with me so I was like you know did he just like look at me and sing with me and sure enough said I was going pretty intense the entire show so hats off to Mr. Brown sound one of my heroes on guitar um so after the concert it broke up really quick it was kind of a uh, jam to get out I ended up buying another CD because I heard um they might be doing signings after the show um and uh sure enough they did we waited around for like 15 20 minutes um my buddy's phone was dead my phone was dead and um we ended up going down into the basement there was a line of like 40 people if that and um we went and got um some shit signs so uh more shit sign <laughs> and uh i I ended up going up to the table, talking to the dudes again. At this point, the marker that I had to sign my arm had completely rubbed off, and I was really thankful that they were doing signings after the show. So I went up, you know, Frank talked to me. I said, you know, he had a pretty kick-ass solo, so I, you know, told him, great addition to the band, great solo, you know, good job, my man. And then Derek was sitting right next to him. I was like, hey, dude, I don't know if you, if you, you know, remember me. I was that weird kid that wanted you to sign my arm, and he's like, yeah, and Frank also uh, commented, he's like, yeah, I saw you walk away, and I was wondering, there was no way that was going to hold up, so, we got we got a thicker marker, and, um, my buddy Derek ended up signing it, shook my hand, we talked a little bit more, and, you know, it was really good to see him, uh, all healthy again, and Cone was even talking about, 
the tattoo, he thought it was pretty badass, and they all wanted to see it, so I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna send you guys a picture when it's all done. I, uh, talked to Mr. Brown Sound, thanked him for the pic, he said, you know, you know, he was really glad to see me enjoying the show like that, I gave him one of my pics that I used on the, uh, album cover of 13 Voices, and he said that'd be pretty cool, he would keep that with him, and, um, shook Tom's hand as well, told him he was a great addition to the band, they were all really, really cool guys to me, and, uh, we ended up circling back around, came back through the table, and Derek just waved and said bye to, you know, both my buddy and I, they were really cool, I was expecting them to be nice, um, that was a given, but they just were really, really cool to me, so then, um, we headed home, and, that was that, and, and that was that, that was that, and the next day, um, at noon, my buddy and I, uh, went to the parlor, and I don't know if you can really see it, but, I'm trying to get a good, there we go, got the 41, and sure enough, his signature, so, that was pretty sweet, and then, um, some of the stuff they signed, my buddy, uh, and I, we got, my buddy didn't buy a CD, but he got our ticket, um, there's some signatures on there, and I ended up framing, framing all we got, so, uh, let me, uh, put this right here, uh, the glare on the camera, fuck that, but, uh, that little, uh, wristband is the VIP wristband they give you, of course, after the show, they signed all that, there's the pick, um, I ended up putting that in there, and then there's the little laminate you get, uh, I can't, there we go, there's the lim little laminate, and I ended up framing all of this, and it's gonna go on my wall right behind where I do covers, so, they're always gonna be with me with that, so I thought that was pretty badass, and all this was, you know, free to me, the only money I spent was, uh, on the CD and on a wristband after the show, so, overall it was really sweet, uh, I would recommend this to anybody that's even a fan of them, and, um, it's really, really cheap to meet the band, they're a bunch of cool guys, they're, you know, out there to really see, you know, you can tell they're really humble to be playing as a band again, and they seem strong better than ever, so I can't wait for them to finish this up, and if they go make some more material, then my computer's being a little fuck, then, um, they make some more material, which I expected soon. So, um, that, and last night I was actually getting ready to fall asleep, and my phone went off, and I looked on Instagram, and somebody put a comment on my post, and said that's awesome in quotation and then a little line and said Derek after that and I was just like wait what and I ended up opening my Instagram and uh, the official Psalm account commented on it Frank Cone people like you know everybody I think even Dave liked the picture I put on Instagram I'll put that right there as well and Derek you know I'd never seen Derek comment like that on uh, photos before with anybody but you know they obviously saw it, they obviously dug it and you know it was a really, really cool overall experience, so, that's pretty much that, if you guys can afford it, and you, you know, you were questioning on it, the experience getting, like, before the show might be a little rocky, but you at least get what you pay for, and if not, the concert is amazing, um, you'll get more after that, and it's really, it's really worth it, I'm, I'm not even kidding, like, I'm a hardcore fan, you know, I might be biased with that, but, it's really, really worth it. I'm, I'm, you know, being 100% serious with you. So, yeah, that was that. As far as, um, last thing we have to wrap up with the video, um, the album cover, it's really, uh, really actually finally got put on. I've been running into some copyright issues, so that got put on. It's going to be a week from tomorrow. I, um, announced the winner. Of course, you win a deluxe version of the album. Um, free to you. It'll be shipped and everything. I'll just personal message you for the, uh, for the address, and, um, not much more to say about that. The one you get from Target with the four extra tracks is the one I'll be giving you for free. Uh, so all you gotta do is like, comment on the video, you know, um, you can share it on Facebook and Twitter, they'll give you more, you know, entries into the drawing, it's gonna be a randomized drawing, and then just subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think. I've already gotten a few comments on the videos, over 2,000 views, just a couple days in, so I'm pretty happy with that, and... Yes, I did learn all that by ear, and yes, it was pretty intense. And it was actually pretty funny. Sometimes during the show, I would be pointing at Dave and saying, you know what, I learned that so right. So, that's pretty much all of that. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative to you as well as, like, actually interesting to watch. Um, like I said, if you're Googling, you know, wanting to see if it's worth it, I would go for it if you have the money, you know. Um, 
my my attitude going into it's like how many more chances would I have to doing this? But yeah, uh, they'll be around for a while, so I feel like I'll be able to do it again soon. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you later. I, I don't know what the next video will be, whether me talking or a cover, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you later.